Let's start with the joy first because I can't wait to inform you guys of super great news about 2pm Chonsung. Guess what? The male idol just blew everyone away by announcing that he will be getting married to a non-celebrity girlfriend early next year, and his fiancée is currently in the early stages of pregnancy. Oh my god. I thought that Taekyun would be the first 2PM member to share big news because his love story has lasted for over four lengthy years. But looks like man proposes God dispose. Our magne Chonsung will be the first married man and father in the boy group. Along with his marriage, Chonsung also revealed that he will be leaving JYP Entertainment in January after 15 years of working together. With his new life and his new family in mind, the male idol decided to set out on his own path in the future. Well, seems like while the Gen 4 era is coming, Gen 2 K-pop idols are gradually starting their own families. Looking at this very beautiful handwritten letter, I know that Chonsung did spend lots of time on it, sharing his great news with all of hottests. Thus, hopefully, fans will respect his decision and wish his family a lifetime of happiness. By the way, is there anyone here who saw these super cute photos of Red Velvet Joy and Crush? As of the latest pictures of the couple, they are thrilling everyone among K-Nets at the moment. Even though the male singer is currently serving in the military, it seems the two still have a strong bond of love, enjoying happy moments together. Well, I bet you guys must be immersed in this sweetness. At this rate, it's highly expected that we will see soon another happy ending from K-pop. Well, great news will last longer with a bunch of special collab performances in the KBS Song Festival this year. So after hyping fans up with a never-before-seen collaboration of TXT and in Hypen, along with an epic collab of Stray Kids and Oh My Girl, Today KBS continues to blow everyone away by announcing that the two 17 members including Sunquan and DK will be singing a duet together on the show. Well, that's not all though. Because a brand new Project Girl group is making their debut right at this upcoming festival. Surely you know who they are. It's nine members who come from six top girl groups, including Red Velvet, Oh My Girl, Itzy, Brave Girls, Stacy, and Ivy. This visual girl group will be covering the smash hit Way to Go by SNSD, sending out messages of cheers to fans around the world. Just a few days ago, NET also brought up a special collab of the fourth generation at the 2021 MAMA stage, but seems like it failed to meet fans' expectations cause these representatives only had their individual dance instead of actually standing on the stage together. Therefore, at the moment, fans are getting their hopes upon the Gayo Festival, speculating which members this epic project girl group will have. Irene or Joy from Red Velvet? Won Young or Eugene from IV? Can you guess who will be counted in this visual party? By the way, let's take a look at the performing lineup for the Gayo Festival this year. So we have Red Velvet, Oh My Girl, Kong Daniel, The Boys, Stray Kids, Itzy, TXT, Hope that the boys will be well treated by KBS instead of being disregarded by NET during 2021 MAMA. The next is in Hypen, Espa, Lee Moo Jean, 17, Sunmi, NUEST, Astro, Brave Girls, NCTU, SF9, Kim Woo Sook, Stay C, and the last one is IV. Oh wow, sounds like the 2021 Gayo Festival will be super lit, with so many big names in K-pop. The event will be taking place in two days, so make sure to tune in for this K-pop year-end tradition with us. Well seems like we cannot save the best for the last because now we are talking about NCT's earthquake controversy. So last night, a 4.9 magnitude earthquake suddenly occurred off the coast of Jeju, reportedly one of the strongest earthquakes in South Korea's recent history. The reason we just mentioned it is because, simultaneously NCT was streaming their Universe Countdown Live to celebrate their third album. During this stream, the boys suddenly heard the national disaster alarm go off. However, at that time they did not know whether it was real or just a game played by their staff because it's such a coincidence that their latest album also consists of a song named Earthquake. Thus, as a natural reaction, Doyang quickly mentioned their new song, Mark began singing and Johnny started doing the dance. Their actions were broadcast through the live stream, which immediately led to a great discontent among K-Nets. 
Many netizens got riled up, criticizing them for having immature and insensitive behavior. Lots of people claimed that while everyone was in danger over there, the NCT members were making a joke and laughing at them. It seems the boys were quickly aware of the real earthquake and how seriously their actions would cause. Thus, right after the live stream ended, Mark, Johnny, and Du Young all released apologies for their reckless remarks and unrecognizing the seriousness of the situation that unfortunately turned out to be very real. Apparently, it's such a rare incident that even I couldn't imagine. Therefore, many fans accepted their apologies, believing that all Mark, Johnny and Di Oyang reflected on their wrongdoings when handling the issue as soon as possible before things would get out of hand. However, lots of netizens argued that these short apologies don't seem genuine at all because they were posted through Instagram stories, which will only exist within 24 hours. On top of that, they are asking the NCT members to address the fuss more properly by a handwritten apology or even an official statement through SM Entertainment. Oh my god. Controversies are often blown out of proportion like that. So what do you think about this incident? Do you think that Mark, Johnny and Du Young should have made a more genuine apology? Let me know by dropping some comments below.